All right, today we're gonna to talk jigs. There's a lot of choices out there, uh, but if you can't tell, my favorite is probably Salus. And uh, let's talk about the different types first. Uh, use this one for clarity's sake. 6X Junior, the most famous, I think, yellowtail jig there is. Uh, the reason for it, it's, it's a, a medium weight, short base, but it swims really well. Now, they do make, this is a 6X, this is not the Junior, this is just a regular 6X, a little longer, and it's heavier, so it's gonna sink further, um, and it's gonna swim a little bit different. Uh, this, this is a FL68, this is kind of an older Salus jig. Uh, surface iron, it's a lot uh, lighter and weight. Uh, and this is another 7X, but this, this 7X is, uh, is also lightweight. This is a more of a surface iron. So Junior is kind of like the middle class. You can kind of go up or down with it. So swim it right on top, swim it on bottom. But um, let's talk about uh, the most important thing, the way it swims. If you look at these, uh, these rings here, you'll see that they're soldered together after they put them through. Uh, so the most important thing is that when you're tying your knot, you want to tie your knot over the solder. The reason is, is once it's back, let's say you got flipped around through here. Now this one has the holes a little bit bigger, but let's look at a smaller one here. So here's a 6X Junior, and you can see that it barely fits through that solder connection. Sometimes these rings aren't perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter what the manufacturer is. Um, but you'll see that they'll kind of get stuck in there. So you tie your jig properly with your knot over the solder mark, okay? So right about where my finger is. You'll notice that it, it will swim correctly. This one's a little tight up. So this is a good example of one that you need to fix. So see how it doesn't quite swirl perfectly? Too many jigs on the table. All right, here we go. So this one swirls perfectly, right? So it should be swimming correctly. Now, if you look at the inside hole here, this one's pretty round and you see that the wear marks are pretty even all the way around. The one that didn't swim correctly, it's a little bit more bound up in there. See, there's almost like some junk that's stuck in there, okay? If you just grab a pair of like needle nose pliers and grind it in there, you can actually fix this jig. It'll actually swim correctly and it'll, it'll do the full twist without being bound up. So. It's very important. The most important thing about jigs is that they swim. If they don't swim right, they're gonna bite it. It's all about the motion of the ocean, not necessarily what, what color it is. Now, certain colors work better than others. In my experience, yes. I would say the way that the gym, the jig swims is 80% of its effectiveness. The color sometimes matters, sometimes not, maybe 10 to 15%, maybe 20, um, but you wanna match the hatch. So maybe times you could throw a jig, it may not have any paint on it. These are these are some jigs I've had just at the house, they're not even on the boat, so they haven't even been fished yet. But typically uh, the color doesn't matter too much, but the ones that are effective, I will say, this is what they call the scrambled egg, sunny side up. Bird caca, uh, pretty much the same color, but swirl. Uh, blue and white seems to work better for tuna, but it does work. Um, I will say that the mint color works at the Coronados better than at Catalina or San Clemente. I don't tell me why, but it does. Uh, and in the years that we've had a lot of red crab around, the red crab color kills it. Uh, caught a sh ton of bass uh, on, on this color lure also. Sometimes they'll bite that first. Uh, but yeah, these are, these are the jigs I like uh, and they work. So, he said, if it's not swimming right, follow with that hole. Always tie your lure to where the solder connection is on the ring and you'll be in good shape. 